hello youtube welcome back to my video in this video i'm going to show you how you can add uh, a mysql into your ex existing exam server that is not having a mysql now so let me show you my exam control panel now so this is my exam control panel you can see i have uh, apache only no mysql is there i can start this but uh, if i want to add mysql what i have to do I'm going to show you that okay so first just uh, uh, go to the browser and uh, download the uh, exam installer again or if you have the same uh, which you install this uh, you can take the same so I have uh, uh, gone to the browser and I'm going to download the exam uh, the latest one now so let me download this here so I have downloaded now oh, the installer let me open it now it's saying uh, antivirus is running uh, new the installation no problem with that press next and you can see here uh, where we want to install or what are the services we need to uh, install that okay let everything uh, be there and uh, press next now here you can you have to set the uh, folder where you want uh, the my uh, the exam to be installed so i have already one exam in my uh, c uh, drive in this folder i'm going to create a new one here with uh, a exam 2 in that and press next and next and uh, install that exam the new exam in uh, the new folder which we have created now okay so uh, exam 2 installation is finished uh, let's open it and see all the files are there okay now what we have to take is uh, the mysql folder where all the uh, files of mysql are there from the new folder just a uh, new installation copy there and put it in your old uh, files okay and it will last for replace just replace the files and uh, in the old exam folder go to exam control uh, dot ini open it and we can see here my sql uh, this is the service which is currently uh, installed in this uh, um, exam okay so uh, available in this exam uh, exam so it is not uh, activated just uh, put it as one and save it from here save it on the okay so it's not allowing to save okay can do one thing copy it copy it uh, somewhere so copy it in some another folder and uh, you can open it as i told uh, uh, this is the list of services which is uh, uh, currently active in uh, the exam uh, server which we have already installed so the you can see mysql is equal to zero you can enable it by setting it as mysql mysql is equal to one uh, just save it so uh, once it is saved uh, you can copy this uh, to the exam folder our the exam control dot in is there paste it and replace it from there okay so it will ask for the permission just replace it uh, from there and you can see now i can go to the control panel you can see my mysql has a start button which means uh, my mysql is enabled in that let's uh, try to start the mysql now yes it's running now okay so i can start the apache tomcat uh, apache server and the mysql uh, database here okay so hope you got this in my uh, next i will show you how you can connect uh, to this mysql uh, server from now you can simply delete uh, the newly installed exam2 which is no longer needed you can just uh, delete it directly okay so it won't affect uh, anywhere in our uh, newly installed mysql 